The objective today is graphing integers with a proper scale. So what is an integer? An integer is a number with no fractional part. Integers include the counting numbers, so that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. It also includes 0 and the opposites of the counting numbers, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. If you want to know a little bit more about opposites, I have a video, so if you need a refresher about that, I will leave the link here in the description, so you can go and check out that video about opposites and absolute value. Integers are used to represent real-life situations, so let's do some examples. Generate an integer for the following situation. Swimming 10 feet below sea level. So, we are talking about the sea, so I'm going to draw the sea. So, anything above sea level, maybe a flying bird, maybe a flying plane, that will be considered above sea level. But in this case, you're swimming, or these fish are swimming below sea level. So, I have this fish swimming here below sea level at 10 feet. So, if I want an integer to represent the situation, the ocean will be my zero, and anything below zero is considered negative. My key word is below. So the integer that I can use to represent the situation is negative 10. What about this one? Generate an integer for the following situation. You earn 5 points on your video game. So suppose that you're playing a video game and you're earning points. So here the keyword will be earn. If you earn points, that means that you're gaining points, that you are adding up those points. So that can be used as a positive integer. You can use plus 5 or when you have a positive integer, it's not necessary to put the plus, so it's just sim simplified. So 5 or plus 5 will be the integer for this situation. What about this one? Adrian owes $5 to Bank of America. So our keyword here will be owes. If Adrian owes that money, that means that in his bank account or in his statement, he will see that he owes money by seeing negative numbers. So if he needs to pay that money to the bank, he will see negative five dollars. So the keyword here is O, so the integer that we can use to represent that situation is negative, negative five. How can we graph a set of integers on the number line? Well, first of all, to represent a set of integers, we are going to be using braces or these keys. So these will be a set of integers. To graph them on the number line, we need to use a proper scale. And remember that you plot dots on the integers that you're graphing. I also have a video that talks about plotting dots on the number line. If you want a refresher about that, I'm going to also leave the link here in the description below. So coming back to this example, first of all, we need a proper scale. So as we can see, our integers, the largest integer that we have is 4. The smallest integer is negative 3. I also have 0. So 0 will be somewhere there in the middle. And I have negatives and positives, and the range is not that big. So I can increase by 1 unit. If I increase by one unit, I will be able to fit these numbers. So remember, positive numbers go to the right of zero, negative to the left of zero. So I am just increasing by one unit. So this will be a perfect scale for this set of integers. To graph, don't forget to plot 
dots on these numbers. So I have negative 3, so I plot a dot on negative 3. I have 0, 4, and negative 1. So proper scale and my dots on this set of integers. But what about this set of integers? I have also some negatives, some positive integers. I also have zero. So again, zero goes somewhere there in the middle. But now, if I increase by one unit, I will not be able to fit these integers. As you can see, I'm using the same number line. But I need to change the scale to, to be able to grab these integers. So if I increase by one unit, these numbers will not fit. So I will try maybe by 5, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. My increase now is every 5 units. So to the left of 0, I will have negative 5, negative 10, negative 15, negative 20, negative 25. So this will be a proper scale for this set of integers. Now, I am going to plot dots on this integer. So negative 15 will be here, negative 15, 0, negative 5, 20, and 5. So as you can see, we're using the same number line. I am just changing the scale. This is a proper scale for this set of numbers. And then you just plot whatever integers you have in between your braces. Okay, so now is your turn. You have these three examples. The first two, you are going to generate an integer for the following situations. Then in the third example, you are going to graph this set of integers. First, you need to write a proper scale. Look at those integers. Look at the range. Which one is your largest integer? Do you have zero? Do you have some negatives? And then think, how can you increase your scale so you will be able to fit these integers? Then plot them using dots. You can pause this video now, try them, try these examples, and then at the end of this video, I will give you the solution. Good luck! Don't forget to like this video, share, and subscribe. Follow me on my social media, Instagram, at Numeritos TV, and Twitter also, at Numeritos TV. You can suggest other objectives or other topics that you want me to do a video of, and see you next time. Bye-bye!